Over the course of the 2017 to 2018 academic year, the University of Oklahoma Libraries explored how an invention comes into being through the university's innovation ecosystem. Throughout the year, an estimated one and a half million visitors to the Bazell Memorial Library walked through the eight-room Poetics of Invention exhibition, taking in the three-step process of invention from its ideation to fabrication and finally commercialization. In 2016, OU professor Jonathan Stalling worked in conjunction with the Ronnie K. Irani Center for the Creation of Economic Wealth and OU's Office of Technology Development launched the mobile app Pinying on the Apple Store. With nearly 4,000 downloads, the Pinying app was built to overcome the challenges faced by over 350 million English learners in China. Pinying uses patent-pending technology to fuse English and Chinese at the level of their phonetic DNA to build the first stable phonetic bridge linking Chinese characters to English phonetics. The app includes patented interactive 3D learning environments, interactive games, and a pronunciation dictionary with over 120,000 English words broken down into Chinese character-based pronunciations. While the app employs cutting-edge technologies to bridge the world's two most spoken languages, its core technology was found in a lost tradition of classical Chinese poetics, something known as the rhyme table tradition. This method, known as fanxie, invented in the Tang and Song dynasties nearly 1,500 years ago, was redirected, but this time, to help learn English. To explore the ideation process of this invention, the exhibit imagines what it would have been like to convert English into Chinese characters over 1,500 year period of the rhyme table tradition between the Tang and Qing dynasties. The exhibit recreates a Song Dynasty printing studio for the English rhyme tables, a textbook formatted exactly as the original, but would have taught English pronunciation rather than Chinese pronunciation. The exhibition imagines what it would have been like if the technology used in the Pinyin app was available to teach English over the last 1,000 years. The rhyme tables were used by Chinese officials and literati to pass the poetry composition component of the imperial examination system. The Chinese imperial examination system needed the rhyme tables to teach poets how to rhyme poetry in a single, uniform way, despite the fact that every region spoke its own dialect and accents. Poetry, it was thought, could reveal a person's capacity for leadership and responsibility in the imperial government. In this room, we see the Song Dynasty English of the last room in action in the results of the Newman Prize for English Jueju where over the last decade, over a thousand Oklahoma K-12 and college students have followed all of the rules of the poetry exam, but using the Song Dynasty English we see in this exhibit. In this sense, Poetics of Invention explores how ancient technologies can bridge modern languages by showing how Chinese characters can teach English phonetics, but also how it can teach American students to use their own language as if it were Chinese so that they can gain an appreciation of Chinese culture through direct, hands-on experiences writing classical Chinese poetry in English. Finally, the exhibit explores how the ideas that power the app could have reshaped the moment when English and Chinese truly met during the Victorian era. Here the exhibit reimagines textbooks and methods of this period paired with the high technology of that time with updated version of the rhyme table traditions that would have taught English pronunciation more intuitively and smoothly had it been used. In reality, this bridge between Chinese and English did not evolve over the last millennia, but was instead invented here at OU, and where it went through the patenting process and later the fabrication process with the help of OU faculty, staff, and students. Over 25 student interns from nearly every college at OU worked on Pinyin from 2014 to 2016 through the support of Price College of Business's internship program, the ICCEW, offering market research, coding, and design expertise, leading up to the launch of the app in 2016. Working with these students and staff, we utilized OU makerspaces, including OU Libraries Innovation at the Edge and the Tom Love Innovation Hub, to fabricate many of the interactives on display, including over 10,000 movable wooden typepieces used in the printing of the English rhyme tables.
I hope you will take time to explore the website, its artifacts, and educational resources as inspiration for your own novel solutions to the pressing questions of our time.